What's up, everybody? My name is Wizardblade, and welcome to this. This. Just this. Probably the most disgusting, insulting thing humanity has ever created. Okay, so for those of you who do not know what I'm talking about, or have never heard of this movie before, count your blessings. <laughs> um, okay, so if you follow me on Twitter or anything like that, and you've seen my Twitter today, then you probably know what this movie is. But if you don't follow me on Twitter and you don't keep up with what Netflix does, then good for you. <laughs> uh, but but no, no, this is just, no, this is just so, so bad. I mean, I, I cannot believe Netflix is actually making this into a thing. I cannot believe somebody at Netflix actually saw this and decided, oh yeah, that, that needs to be on our fucking service. Oh my god, it's so bad. Right now, it has... Uh, I'm looking at the official trailer now. It has uh, 269,000 views and 32,000 dislikes compared to 6,000... Uh, about 6,000 likes. And... Yeah, once you see the trailer, you'll know why. Or at least, I, I hope to God you know why. Right, if you if you think this deserves likes, then don't be subscribed to me anymore. Do, do not. Do not be associated with me at all. Because this is this is disgusting. This is awful trash. Just, all right, we're going to review it. We're going to look at the trailer now. All right, enough talk. All right, enough talk. Let's, let's watch the trailers for cuties. So this movie's in French. That should be... Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing French. Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Yeah. Oh god, why are they dressed like that? Yeah. Oh dear... Oh Jesus. Do you guys see now why? Oh my god. Oh god, and the parents are going to be seen as the bad guy for wanting to stop this? She's a woman- no! She's- she's a little girl. These are like 11 year old girls, by the way. These are- these are 11 year old girls. They are dressing up like this, they are dancing like that. That's what the whole movie's about. That's the whole point of this movie. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the parent side. These girls need to get smacked or something. They can't dress like this. This is gross. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Mm -mm. September 9th. I don't know, you might have pushed that back to September 11th. So you can uh, better represent the disaster this is. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Looking at the comments. <laughs> Best movie of the decade by Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's a funny comment. But no, no, for real. Can, can we seriously, for real, talk about this for a second? Because this is just absolutely disgusting. I mean, I cannot believe that this has been greenlit by Netflix. A movie with such inappropriateness. It's just, I cannot believe, who at Netflix saw a movie where these 11 year old girls, they're all about 11 years old, you saw in the trailer, are dressing up in these very sexualized clothes, you know, with midriffs and everything like that, very short shorts and everything, and they're like, they're doing these very sensual dancing and everything like that. Like, like imagine the, the infamous scene from the Pop of Girls reboot, where uh, Blossom and Bubbles were twerking with that polar bear. And then extend it to an hour and a half. Th that's your movie. I I do not I cannot believe it. That is that is so fucking gross. Oh my god, it is disgusting. Oh man. Oh god. And what makes it worse? I like <laughs> okay, so this movie has been this basically this movie's been circulating on Twitter today. Like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw me retweeting this and everything like that, talking about how gross and disgusting this is and everything. And um, the more I saw it, the more stuff I saw about it. And basically, to sum it all up, this shit gets weirder and weirder the more you dig into it. Uh, first of all, there's this really disgusting review on uh, IMDb. 
Films McGee says, 9 out of 10, amazing actress, also sexy. These girls are 11. Dude, 11. I can't believe it. I hope they make more, but don't wait too long. Don't want them to be too old for their roles. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh, no. Just, just... Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my God, that is so fucking gross. Fortunately for me, um, there's a lot of people out there that have some common fucking sense. This movie's been getting negative reviews and backlash all across the board. You know, like, 1 out of 10, disgusting. These are babies, literal children. I am beyond disgusted that this is what is starting to become normalized in our society. This is actual trash. This is not okay. We shouldn't be trying to... I think that's supposed to be sexualized, but they wrote specialized instead. Uh, children for entertainment, take this movie out of the market. These girls are being robbed of their innocence for your dollar. This is disturbing and outright disgusting of a plot. Yes, I could not agree more. This is just absolutely horrible. I honestly am sick to my stomach that this is acceptable. With everything going on today with these kids... This is ludicrous. Hey, come on, that's that, that's a little too far, don't you think? I'm sure ludicrous would hate this. Save our children. This is disturbing. These are little girls being portrayed as women. Stop this now. For the safety, our children stop supporting these movies site. I mean, outside of the bad grammar, I 100% agree. Awful. This needs to be taken down. Why would they allow such thing? Allowing young girls dancing sensually and exposing themselves in inappropriate ways is wrong and sick. Take this down. Again, I, I could not agree anymore. This is just... Again, it's a good thing these movies are getting really bad reviews all across the board. But I, I, it's, it's, it's absolutely cringy. This is so... I cannot believe that this is even happening. This has gotten so bad that Netflix actually had to change the description of the, of the movie. Because it got so much backlash. This is the official description on Netflix as of this moment. 11-year-old Amy starts to rebel against her conservative family's traditions when she becomes fascinated with a free-spirited dance crew. Oh, is that what it's called? A free-spirited dance crew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now let's look at what it actually said beforehand. Amy, 11, becomes fascinated with a twerking dance crew. Hoping to join them, she starts to exploit her femininity, defying her family's traditions. Oh my god. It's like they weren't even hiding it. That They weren't even trying to hide how fucking gross this shit is. How disgusting all of this is. Oh my god. I don't even want to look at that picture anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly kind of scared this video might get taken down off YouTube because of how gross it is. I mean, just, just the, the content of this movie... Having these little girls dance the way, or dress the way they do, dance the way they do, it's disgusting. I mean, like, it's absolutely horrible. Like, the people who made this movie should be fucking ashamed of themselves. This is just absolutely disgusting. It's gross, it's inappropriate, and honestly, I argue this is very dangerous. This is a very dangerous move to make. Because, I mean, like, we, we both know, okay? We both know there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna enjoy this movie a little more than they should, and it's gonna be it's gonna be wrong, all right? And they're gonna see these little girls like twerking and everything, all in their really sexy clothing and everything, and they're and these kids could become targets of some very dangerous people, and I, I, I for the life of me cannot support that, all right? This movie isn't just gonna be bad. This movie's gonna be insanely dangerous. And I think that's that's a line that no movie can ever cross. I mean, you can say whatever you want about movies like Norm of the North or the Emoji Movie or, hell, even Swiped. All right? Like, say what you want about those movies. They do not cross a line anywhere near as bad as this movie does. All right? I don't even have to watch the movie to tell you how dangerous this is. All right? This puts these young girls in a really bad, very dangerous spot. Okay, and I feel so bad for these kids, okay? They probably have no idea what's going to happen. Or they have no idea they're being exploited the way they are. They have no idea how much danger they're being put in. Just 
for being in this movie, all right? They're probably being told by the producers that, oh, you're just dancing and having fun, okay? People are going to love it. But no, all right? They're being sexualized for money, and it's absolutely disgusting. And even worse, again, you never know what kind of people are going to watch this movie, see these little girls and go, oh, yeah, she looks really good, and then decide to maybe do something about it in the future. It's just... This is wrong. This this movie is this movie is wrong in like every sense of the word. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it, it needs to be driven home. This is just unacceptable, Netflix. Like to the people that made this movie, fuck you. This is just straight up fucking disgusting. This is pedophilia. This is fucking disgusting. Fuck you guys. Seriously, this is just awful. Fucking awful. What is wrong with you guys? Seriously. Ugh, I, again, I feel so bad for these kids. Really, I'm, I'm sure they're good kids. But man, they are... I really hope to God nothing bad happens to them because of this movie. I really do. I hope to God their their parents wake up and realize the, de the terrible situation they, they're putting their children in. Because this is, this is really disturbing. It's, it's absolutely disturbing. Not just because they're sexualizing young girls, but because they're putting them in a very dangerous spot. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much done. That's all I wanted to say. I, um, I just, I honestly encourage people not to watch this movie. I, in fact, I, I, I actually advertise a boycott of this movie. Okay, I, I highly recommend we do not watch this movie under any circumstance. Not to review it. Not to do anything of the sort. Do not support this crap. Fucking boycott it. Ban the shit of this movie, okay? This is something that can't fucking get out there, okay? Because of how dangerous it is. The kind of lessons it's putting out there for little girls, the, the dangerous spot it's putting out there for the young actresses and everything. This is just unacceptable. Okay, and we need to let Netflix know we will not accept this gross, disgusting crap. Okay? This, this needs to go away. Seriously, this movie should never see the light of day. These girls need to be protected. Okay, because they're, they're little girls. They are 11-year-old girls who probably have no idea what is about to happen. And that is the scariest thing about the situation to me. This isn't just a bad movie. This is a dangerous situation. We may have seriously put these girls in serious trouble. I'm dead serious when I say that. I'm just, I'm, this, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I really am done, but yeah, for real. I, I highly recommend we boycott this film. Fuck cuties. Fuck everyone who is involved in this movie, except for the actors, because again, I'm sure they're good kids. I'm sure they have no idea what they're doing. And that's, that's really what makes this so sad and so scary. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.